good morning everyone and thank you for checking out my next vlog sorry it's been so long it's just everything's been going on uh, a lot of has been going on actually this last week or so uh, which i'm going to talk to you about today i'm actually at exminster golf center which is now the new home for my channel and the new home for my job and my career the pathway to the pga has actually plan is starting to come together now so i'm going to show you around exminster golf center and then i'm actually going to talk to you about what my plans are now for the next few months So take a look at this this morning. We are, what time is it? It's about half eight and it's absolutely stunning out here. Spring stroke summer is on its way. So this is Exminster Golf Centre. You can kind of see that's the kind of back half. It's only a nine hole course, but it's quite tricky. The greens are small and if you miss the green, it's a really tough up and down. So gonna be some good golf here, hopefully this year. Uh, you may have also seen Exminster Golf Club on a different channel. Uh, a couple of different ones actually, because this is not the home, but you would have seen a lot of videos on James Wiltshire, his channel, and Harry Flower as well. Harry Flower Golf, sorry. Now this is really exciting for me, because that means hopefully it'll give me a couple of opportunities to collaborate with those guys. I already spoke to James, because James actually works in the pro shop as well. well. He's just finished, but he is in between kind of lessons and things like that. Hopefully we're gonna be doing something soon in the next couple of weeks. He's a very busy man though. But yeah, so I'm actually gonna talk you through this golf course. I don't know it very well, so I'm still learning it. Um, but yeah, let's give it a shot. So we've got a 385 yard par four to start. It's a really big dog leg to the right. The green's kind of like over this way here. You can take the corner off you long enough. I probably am, but I just don't know the course well enough to give it a go just yet. Let's just have a quick, but there is a kind of bunker. You see where that little tree is just there. There is a bunker there. I think it's about from the, from the white tees. I think it's about 185, maybe 190 away. So they're gonna try and either just get over there or just to the left of that. Such a peaceful morning up here. That's about to be shattered by my golf. Yep, not bad, just left of the bunker I think. So, in hindsight, a three quarter eight iron from that bunker was the wrong shot. I pitched the back of the green, took a very big bounce, and I think it's over the back. Which, as you will see in a second, is really not the place to be by the looks of it. So, uh, up and down will be fun, won't it? That's not the place to be. Not bad. Oh, a solid five to start. So I've got 161 to the flag, slightly into a gentle breeze. I'm gonna go 
go 7 iron, that's a nice smooth one. That's good I think, might be pin eye left. Before I go any further, look at the view. This is kind of the highest point of Exminster. You can kind of right see, see right out there. It's absolutely stunning out here. Especially when it's this peaceful in the morning. But anyway, there I am. So it's actually a bit long. I caught it a bit clean, so I don't think it stopped as quickly as it maybe would have done if I struck it a bit better. There's probably either going to be a 7 or an 8 iron in the future here. cracking little hole this in the summer this is going to play quite an easy hole but run straight downhill now pushed it right slightly so you can see here I've just kind of pushed it right into the rough it's not a terrible shot and um, I'll just zoom in you can kind of see the flag down there uh, I'm gonna use a little wedge to see how far that'll get me hopefully if it's short it'll just run down the hill and get on the green So, as you know, me being a colossal tit, uh, I forgot to charge my battery on the camera last night, so it's it's saying it's got about an hour, just over an hour left, so I should be able to show you all the holes. But if not, I'll be going back out later and I've brought my charger and stuff with me, so I'll kind of show you the rest of the holes later on this afternoon, but hopefully I can get around and, and show you what's what now. I'm currently one over par. Fourth hole is, if I can't read it now, I can't even see it, it's miles down there. There we go, so it's one, three, six off the whites today. The par three, I'll show you in a second, there's some members on the course, so I won't film them just a second. I'll show you the hole in a minute. There it is, so there's water short. And uh, you do not want to be going right here, as I'm sure those members will not appreciate me peppering them. So it's not long, so it's, it's not the hardest in the world, but little elements that make it a little bit tougher. So I'm actually going to go with a wedge. It's one three at one thirty four today. Pins right at the front, so hopefully wedge gets there. I get quite spinny with wedges, so doesn't always get the full distance. But here we go. I love this part, the trees surround it, so it's almost like enter if you must, it's like enter and see your fate cross the bridge. And there it is, there is my ball, birdie time. So as you can see, putting is in need of some serious work before I start playing a bit of competitive golf. Missing too many of those shorter ones to save par at the minute really. But at least I'm not leaving them short I suppose. I'm going two iron at the little tree, kind of along just over the bridge bit here. It's 
it's okay. So in hindsight, good job I did go nine really. If I'd gone long there, I'd have left myself with no shot at all. Right. Crossfield tap and tend. He makes it look so difficult. It really isn't. Oh well. Alright, par three. I'm going with six iron. The green, it's good. So, one thing I'm learning very quickly is that these are really quite firm, they're not quick, they're just really firm. I landed bang on pin high there, and I've ended up going 25 feet past. So this is a par four, it's about 385 I believe off the back tees today. Uh, I'll zoom in again just a little bit here, you can see it's just straight up the hill basically. Um, you want to be aiming at the right side, there is a fairway bunker out there at about 230, 240. Um, actually no, tell that it's a bit shorter than that, it's probably about 200. Um, but the, the fairway kind of cambers from right to left, so you want to be aiming at the right side and if it does run down the left you don't want to be too far down there because it's a difficult shot where the pin is today it's right on the left hand side tucked away so a bit tricky from there Apologies, you've just missed my tee shot on the eighth par five. I've just kind of drew it over the, pulled it a little bit, it was like a bit of a pull draw over the bunker in the end. The group in front were waving me through, so I just kind of did it quickly, um, rather than them waving me through and me faffing around with the camera for another couple of minutes. So, so yeah, uh, second shot quite a way in, but if I can get close enough, it's a birdie chance to get back to two. So, not bad, not bad. In fact, as they're letting me through. I don't think I'm going to film this hole or the next. I'll show you that when I go back round again in a bit. So yeah, I'll join you when I'm playing this again this afternoon. So apologies, I've just got home. Unfortunately, I uh, couldn't get round and film the last two holes of that golf course. So I will show you them at some point. Um, thought I'd charged my battery enough. Hadn't. Thought I'd brought a replacement. I hadn't. So yeah, a bit of a cock up by me there. Apologies. But yeah, so I'm back home now, so I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about my plans, um, about where I'm kind of going with this and with my work now. So you've seen I'm now working at Exminster. So yeah, I just want to talk to you a bit more about that really. But it's um, it's it's a really nice little golf club. It's only a nine hole course, but it's somewhere for me to kind of put my foot in for when I eventually start my PGA full time in the pro shop initially which I, will, I can't wait, I really can't wait. The bunker was fantastic and it gave me that passion that I kind of knew I had, but didn't really know how to, where to kind of, uh, what's the word, where to put it really. Um, and the bunker were fantastic for that, so I can't thank them enough, but it made me see where I wanted to go in golf really, which is just fantastic in my eyes. So yeah, 
Exminster Golf Club is my new place of work, so you will be seeing a lot of kind of late night range sessions, which I know are very, very uh, common online now, but you'll be seeing them from me as well, because I'm sure it gets boring seeing everyone hit straight. And I won't be hitting it as far as James Wiltshire either. He is hitting it miles, so you have nothing to worry about there. So yeah, Exminster, really looking forward to that. You'll actually probably see a course log very, very soon from there. If you haven't seen Exminster Golf Club already, trust me, you're gonna see a lot, lot more of it now. So yeah, a very, very exciting new venture. Hopefully, hopefully stop looking to try and start PGA in September, obviously with Handicap. Competition's coming up very, very soon at Stover. And in fact, they've already started a miss one this weekend because I was busy with family commitments, but competitions are coming around thick and fast now. So Handicap, hopefully, will come down very soon. So again, apologies for that vlog being a little bit all over the place. It's so, been so chaotic this last kind of week or so trying to get jobs sorted and settled whilst trying to try and make content as well. So yeah, a little bit all over the place, but it will get back to normal now. The next one will probably be a rain session because I'm working the late night on Wednesday night. So yeah, really looking forward to the coming, coming few weeks. Hopefully, like I said, James Wiltshire and I have already kind of briefly spoken about doing something potentially when he comes back from Ireland, which will be awesome. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon.